we're back. It's been about 20 minutes, and the flour has been hydrated. Uh, the next step is to add the salt and the yeast. So we're going to turn on our scale here. I've gone ahead and actually measured out the, about an eighth of a teaspoon of yeast and 11 grams of salt. Um, you can see that here. Take that, we're going to sprinkle salt and yeast over the flour and water mixture. And now we're going to start to mix it. So I'm just going to wet my hand a little bit. And we're going to pick up and fold the salt and the yeast into the flour until it's fully contained. And then I'm going to use the pincher method. I'm going to pinch dough across like this, my thumb and my index finger, and then fold it all over. I'll repeat this a couple times. Mix in the salt and the yeast. Let's see, I'm turning the bowl picking up the dough mixture from the bottom and folding it over the top. So work my way around. Give it another pinch. Another fold. And we're gonna do this again, the same method. We're gonna do it again about every 20 minutes. In the next hour, so there'll be three, three uh, mixes there, and once we're done with that, we'll uh, let the dough bulk ferment overnight for 12 to 14 hours.